What I changed was the fact that he has a tendency to want to do too much. So once I sink back where he needed to be, I tell him to go home. And I sit in the gym and wait till he pack his bag to get in the car and go home. I mean, I, I didn't front him. You know, you got a man that's 35 years old. So you can't train him like he's 25. And you got to watch him every day, see his body reaction. It's a lot too, it's not easy. <coughs> but as far as strategy-wise, you just keep it basic. That's what I told you, you just jab it right in. You don't need, you don't need nothing up. Did you expect that Alvarez was about to respond like this in the, the way he did tonight? I expected him to come out early and jump on Sergey. And once I seen Sergey's jab was giving him trouble, I said, now we got to stick with him. And, and there's a few times he came out, but I said, we got to walk away from the right hand. I mean, walk to the left. All right, good job, baby. You know, walk to, you know, wait from um, Alvarez's right hand. I said, you got to go away from him because he's going to try to hit you with it. And if you really look at it, he did nothing flashy. You know what I mean? It's basic jab, jab, right hand, body shot. You know what I mean? Yeah. You talk about the adjustments earlier this week. Did you <coughs> did you make any during the fight tonight? Did I what? Did you uh, make any adjustments? Small tonight? adjustments, jab more, bend your knee a little bit. You know what I mean? Listen, in sports, right? When football players come out of the huddle, what's the first thing the running back does before he gets the ball? Bends his knees, right? Guys hitting the baseball, what does he do? Bends his knees. I mean, if you stand with your knees locked, you can't do anything. I mean, it might look good, but you ain't doing nothing. You bend your knees a little bit, it works in your favor. Are you pleased with uh, what you see tonight? From oh, yes, very, for sure. <coughs> definitely, definitely. Very, very pleased. Good job. Did you think he can be, uh, again, the number one of the, in the night if he wins? Yeah. But, you know, he's got a couple more years. He's 35. So you've got to, you've got to be careful who you fight. He can dominate again. At some point, we we talked. We talked at some point at, at seven, eight, nine rounds. Maybe he will he will, he will crash. He will, he will drop as an energy. Well, it, it, it would it takes him. It's gonna take him another fight to get adjusted to. It. And we have uh, Teddy Cruz who does the conditioning. He's great. I mean, Sergey ate breakfast yesterday before he went to the weigh -in. You know what I mean? Something unheard of. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. <laughs> it was great, and uh, you know I'm very happy for him because he really wanted it really bad. Why uh, do you see a BB a third fight between the between both, both of them? I, I don't know. Hey, this is boxing. Didn't think yeah. it happened. So if it's happened, it's well, it's okay for you. It's I don't care. Oh, yeah. It'll make no difference to me. <laughs> thank you, buddy. All right, thank do you, you. Do you have a preference you, between Bidol or uh, Otter Better Beef? Excuse me. Is there a preference on you? You know, you work in the corner. What's easier, Bidol or Arthur Better Beef? At some point. I, I have to make I've a never seen better be fight, so right now I know what I want to do, just go home and relax. There you go. Well, congrats on the win. Thank you very much. Thank you.